Well, hello everyone, everyone, here with another LEGO Sonic the Hedgehog review, and also my last one for a while, well, till possibly next year, of course. And this one's on a Sonic's Green Hill Zone Loop Challenge, of course. And so now, on the front of the box here, we have the LEGO and Sonic the Hedgehog logos, same board that we've seen on all the sets of the year, this year. And recommended ages is eight and up set number seven six nine nine four it has eight hundred two pieces you see a picture of everything going on in action like a run through the loop and so on on the top mini fig selection of course and also the side box artwork but with three uh, characters to it instead of just two. Nice to see some uh, variety. And on the back side of which is a song coming out of the speed sphere and also some of the features of it and a different shot of the set. Logos again. And, and, uh, and now onto the manual which Different odd rendering than on the front cover of the box. And of course, this, like we've been seeing since last year, last summer, of course. And the front page to it is uh, transitioning to paper bags, add for the builder app. And then on the back, kind of went on the online survey. And then the pieces that come with the set which is actually three pages, which is actually three pages, and add for rebuild the world, and then add for all the sets that I have previously just reviewed. And then, and then, and final building steps of it, of course. Now onto the mini pigs. Yeah, first we do have Winky Face Sonic, like we've seen in the uh, Tornado Plane Workshop set, of course. And also do have Amy Rose, which also the same as from uh, Amy's uh, Animal Island Rescue set, of course. But the only thing that's different is the hammer piece, instead of a pink and lavender pieces on it, instead it's yellow, which is kind of more uh, fitting to that, to her, of course. And then has Dr. Eggman, same as from the uh, Death Egg Robot set, of course. And as for all the uh, little critters of that, have the blue and black flickies, and also the Bonnie and Puppy, which all the same that come in some of the other sets, of course, so. So do get me things that came in other sets of which, which but also, but however, but suddenly just no, nothing exclusive could have at least included tails or at least, or even just uh, uh, knuckles or shadow, of course, which, although that could be in another set uh, down the line, but yeah. And then on the back of each of them. All of which do have some good back torso printing for both of which. And I guess the end that is about it with the mini things. And then also included is the uh, Speed Sphere and Speed Sphere Launcher, which is all the same as in the two other sets the uh, Speed Sphere Challenge and Death Egg Robot. So if you already see this in better detail, go check out my reviews for both of those. And those will have the uh, three of the ring pieces on uh, traditional clear dish pieces, which we see in some other sets, of course. And also do get a couple brick build figs, or at least the uh, enemies of the games, with being Chopper. Which, as you see, 
which is actually a brick built character of course is he with a, a round two by one and a, or one by one a round tile piece of which with an egg print like we see on most sets and also side plate pieces used as fins that do a pivot up and down and also the mouth of which with two Nexonites pyramids used as teeth of course and it swivels in up and down of course the back part of which is consisting of just two regular jagged slopes and but you can turn them side to side and since it's on a rounded pl uh, plate with a bar in there and of course this open space of which is so you can fit a critter into a course there's also reminiscent of the earlier games and, and of course you can turn this uh, plate or this part is hinged down and to help secure it in a bit, of course. And next to which have a Neutron, of course. Which, as you see, this build of which kind of is which kind of good for how it is, like, to get those newer style uh, droid limb pieces in, like, gray, and also to get those little hinge pieces here in green nice to see there and, and as for this back part of which little jumper and also some of the action stand pieces from collectible minifix big series but in green oh it's great to use for mocking of course as for the front head part which is consisting of just a few uh, cheat slopes in orange and green and also the eyes of which consisting of uh, ball joint pieces in odd yellow and of course a little print to, uh, to represent pupils on them and all of these which kind of feel like something out of the Bixels line of course there's a bit nice to see here and also just like chopper a little spot to fit a print into as well of course So now for one of the main builds, which is this little jet ski, which consisting of like mostly white, yellow, and bits of uh, pink on it, of course. Like do you get those Nexo Knights arrow pieces in bright blue, of course. There's, and also some good snot going around here, and also a couple of like like smooth underside tile pieces so it's easy to move around any surface of course and plus just about enough room oh, whoops. and of course two spots on here to fit your Amy Rose minifig onto and a couple of clips in the back was to pull her hammer onto which just about like we do with lightsabers in Star Wars sets, of course. Uh, nice to see that carry on into other themes other than Star Wars, of course. And then one other little build, which is this little floaty, which will be on one of the bits, which I'll go over in a moment. All resting on a, a lavender uh, or round tile or plate piece there, and of course a couple of those like corner kind of bits, but also in lavender and also jumpers in aqua there. Nice to see something like this in something other than friends, of course. There's Billy's kind of a good tiny little parts pack of lavender, there, but yeah. And also do get what you could call a small version of the uh, Death Egg Robot, of course, which consisting of mostly a, a few Technic bits on it, of course, and like for the uh, feet of which you got mostly plates and also a couple of clip bar or those recent bar pieces with the fin-like bits on them. And also a little car grill piece on the front, and also a little dome piece, but underneath the course.
Right, it isn't quite enough room in there. Right, to fit the crew parts in them, of course. And you can just oh, whip, uh, not pop by off. But then you can like, uh, turn it to free them out, of course. And of course, a lot of smoothness to it, and also, and what the, the, the studs in there are for is for the other part, of which I'll go over in a second. But in, in the back of which, just a little bit of snot holding a antenna onto, of course. And as for this other part of which, which the top part is what I'll mention in a bit. But as you see, it's standing on these a uh, few white pieces on there, and also an extra clip part to that. Mostly to attach it to one of the parts, other bits of the set, which I'll show in a second. But yeah, and I see a little uh, city piece, but in clear, like we saw in the Avatar sets last year. And as for this top part, which can take off and also so attach right on to there, like so. Of course. And now it's kind of completed. And as for this upper part of which, which does have a few mixel ball joints in a few spots, well, in both arms. There's one of which leading down to this uh, kind of catcher part of it, made of a, just a couple more grill, car grill pieces, of course. And the other side of which does have a traditional chainsaw, which, uh, which works out fine, of course. And also the Speed Champions windshield piece is used on there. And also we do get a couple of flat, and also get just a couple tile or jumpers in there, and it's just a tile in there. And up to seat Dr. Eggman into, of course. On one side of which does have this little dish kind of piece in red, which swivels around. And also, kind of a little extra armor which that holds a stud shooter onto that can launch off like so. And also on the back part of which, do you get one of the, a diamond piece in light in green, obviously representing another Chaos Emerald. But on the back side, which barely not much of anything, but yeah. And that's about it with that part. So to the first part of the set, the loop. Which looking just about like kinda like how it does in most of the earlier games. But of course these of course these ramp loop pieces, of which like we've seen in most recent city sets. But nice to see in brown and light tan. But however, these brick parts on the sides of which, which are mostly two or two by four brick, or two by two bricks that do pop off on, on jumpers easily, and another chaos emerald, of course. And on one side, which has little flower part to it, like we saw in the uh, oh, what's it? Speed Sphere Challenge set, of course, and also jumper features. You can arrange however you want. And, and of course, a couple more of those lower ramp pieces in green, obviously. And as for this uh, next section of it, let me zoom in a bit. And it's with the Lego Movie 2 star piece, I would but standing on the uh, same stem pieces like we've seen in a couple other sets of this wave. And also a little grill piece, which basic but works fine. And also a picnic table with a uh, Chaos Cola and, of course, Chili Dog on there, of course. And also a dish piece on a far piece has an umbrella. And of course, a couple of jumpers represented as uh, seats, of course. And probably a little cloth for or picnic cloth with a cookie piece, of course, and a couple of roundish plates 
been used for a bush and also a couple few more plates or blue plates representing water of course and, and you wonder what that round jumper is for it is for the little floaty that I mentioned earlier of course but all you can kind of have the uh, jet ski sort of it on there well if you mounted it properly or I guess it can also work out on that jumper of course There's, all right but also on the back side of this build is not much for that but also to get two or two little technic uh, brick technic pin bricks on both sides and of course which attaches to the technic holes on the sides of the loop of course there's which the next bar which kind of does a similar way Next to which got this little loop, or this little big ring loop part, which consisting of another one of the, with a ramp piece but in lime green, and and of course does have another uh, uh, light blue plate also used as water of course, and then just a little rock part consisting of a few slopes right here leading to a few technic bits holding this large uh, technic round piece which represented as another big loop for that and of course that technic hole on the side attack can attach to this as well and got one big loop assembly which I'll show which I'll show again soon Then last of which is this one large part of it. Which and you wonder what those uh, lime green plates sticking off are for is mostly to attach to or to be attached to some other plate parts of the set, of course. So of course this which kind of bit like that of the course builder Mario or Super Mario line, of course, but not with electronic bits, of course. So, anyway, so on to this little section part of it. With a few plates on there, and also a jumper, which and also does have an extra speed life monitor, of course. And for this palm tree build. I was kind of reminiscent of the palm tree builds that also come in a couple other sets of the wave. But instead, also has a little jumper uh, plate on it, so you can mount neutron onto. And well, and as for the main feature of it is, notice the pink tile piece that's on these Technic parts here. Well, take your Amy Rose mini pink, and just get out the hammer and and just smack it right on to there, of course. But let me let's do that one more time. So it works like that, of course. Oh, yeah. And as for this other part of which, which is just quite basic and simple, but with a lot of jumpers around it and a couple clips to not sure what for, but actually just to clip the clear stamp onto this, it like so. But however, these two jumpers here in particular are for putting the feet of your uh, small uh, Eggman bot, Eggman Walker onto the course. And onto the last final bit, which does have a few uh, plates on both sides of it, and some more uh, trans, or I mean, some more blue uh, plates around and some more slopes represented as rocky parts 
and see this, which kind of a bridge sort of section of it. And, and you wonder what this assembly with a translucent blue uh, dish and plates are for. Is so you can put chopper on too with this round plate underneath him and put him on to that. So, oops. And, as for, and of course, a similar feature as that other part of which with the uh, pink plate onto the where you can take your Amy Rose and just uh, smack the hammer onto it. Oh, wait. let's get a better view of that. So you can like, take the hammer and just smack down it and knock him over. So, another good, easy, simple function, of course. And you can plop these on, onto it. Quite simple, really. on like so. And of course with these bits all together, of which really long, yeah, of course. So, and if you want to see the speed sphere in action, well, you can just see my other reviews to it, but I'm sure by now you all probably get the good, good idea of it, of how it is. And so now, as well, oh, hang on. Let's, let me just try and get it all in one shot, of course. And so for my oh, final verdict is this is which a great set like get playing good uh, functional playing good playability to it like launching the speed sphere through the loop and through most of the obstacles kind of feels give it a whole uh, uh, playing around through Green Hill Zone kind of feature to it and also good to have but also this is which probably the set to get if you weren't going to get very much of the other sets since. Some of the mini figs of which kind of repetitive to that, but yeah. And also quite nice to have a whole bunch of stuff together in one set and also have a bit of modulability to it. Although kind of reminiscent of the Super Mario uh, course builder system thing that there is, but at least you don't get to have the electronic bits to it like in those sets, of course. So, and also nice to see a, a loop or a technic a loop part used as a large ring part obviously so, and and of course this which also works out as a good parts pack for the uh, ramp parts of course but yeah and so now if you are looking to get this set to, for your sonic set collection definitely pick this up and if you are looking to Get some good set and maybe not bother with some of the other sets of which, like if you're on a budget or whatever, also definitely pick this up. Like the playability works out well and also works as a neat display piece. Or I mean, works out well, make a full diorama out of it, but yeah. And, and those are just my thoughts. I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments down below and please like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.